cradle on the second floor. Wonder what would happen if I laid a doll in it. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy. A riddle. Saw an oven in the cellar. Maybe I'll find another clue there. Did I scare you? Scared you, didn't I? I can tell you were scared. Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake, neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer. So I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then- And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red... Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with, so I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes. Yes. Yes! Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. 
gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish, but in the dream, well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well, it shan't put me in the poorhouse. Odd though he is, girls can't see him. Ooh! If they burn the fires in winter, we might have... Oh. Uh, nothing hurts as much oh. as life. Oh. What is it, Ross? Oh. Oh. I've had enough of living. I don't have to worry about this. your hair go away. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there, didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the Waters of Oblivion, they failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? No. Let's continue. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. 
I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. They call Ciri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she... travels between worlds. <sighs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Ciri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left in the Rosemary and Time in their will. The Rosemary and Time? Where's that? As you enter the city through the Red Light District, you come upon a bridge. The Rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. No glass tastes as sweet. out master we're a bit of coin short another round because we're comrades see witcher ain't you we're butchers you slaughter we slaughter except witches earn more old villagers pitching lords open their purses ladies do like with their legs guess i've been to the wrong villages dealt with the wrong lords and ladies come on don't make us beg what's the witcher for anyways to help men in need. You boys look tired. Probably ought to go home now. Well, how long we've been drinking now? Two days. Well said, Master. A home we will go. What the hell? Oh, I don't give a flying fuck. 
to make some coin too. I'll never come back, you stinking skadges! <laughs> Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth! In the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. Treat each other like the gods of the ages. Hey, Sultan, you look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian laggers standing in just fine. You know, you withered a bit. Something worrying you. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad, might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> We've a wee problem then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned, as you saw. I'm expecting to come home to a hot leg of boar and some cold ale. What do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. A note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. My visage red and hot, 
I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. Your dexterous digits are my soul's yearning cords. The faculty of Oxenford University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Letinove, the title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Keep forgetting he's got that damn fool name. From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like dandelion. Huh. This the loot he got from the elves of Dolbothana. Aye. Must have been in a great rush to leave it behind. Ten barrels of Toussaint Dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm, nothing here. No, 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 that's exactly what we're looking for. It says planner. Ha, huh. dandelion and planning, good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Hmm, not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm, we should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies at my half, you interrogate the ones on yours. So che. Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Looking to make some coin turn, eh? I serve the eternal fire. Julia claims you agreed to me. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough.
Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. Go. Now. Now listen. You might have two swords, but there's four of us. Yeah. Four men collecting tribute from one washerwoman. Don't think I have much to fear. Best think again. This is covered in blood, all of it. So much work for naught. No need to thank me. There was nothing. Sorry. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful, but everything I had, I just lost. Relax. It'll come out in the wash. Of course it will. Just gotta soak it in white vinegar, but that's not my point. Junior shan't forgive me. Either I'll close up shop myself, or he'll burn me down. Sorry. Didn't think about that. A woman's lot. Men have their fun and we're stuck with a mess. Oh, well, I suppose I must move to Oxenfurt. Professors need clean undergarments, too. Don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... Well... When you kicked Dandelion out, through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring, that horse pheasant, that lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. Twas the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah, uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. This woman he was with in the harbor. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covir. Ha! <laughs> Horvir, more likely. Course it so tight her eyes were popping out her head. He's too come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. friend of Dandelion's, looking for Ellie Hal. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Ellie Hal? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought... Thought Ellie Hal was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Any better? So you're... Elihow. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at. But I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. 
told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian countess one day, a dockside thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. Anyone can swing a sword, but can it play the Ah! Ah! <laughs> Excuse me, I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside, class is in session. I'll wait. It won't take long. It turns out he'll not come My after all. In the saw Dandelion recently. Oh, yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems? No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe... No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. 
I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Thanks for your help. Farewell. This Baronet's love of Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is riding out. Be gone. Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep. Surely this is no chance encounter. Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistake in you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette, an Imperial General and a Witcher meet. And know each other. Surprising. Yeah, we had an opportunity to, uh... Talk when the Emperor summoned me to Vizima. Had you run afoul of Var Emrys? No. You'd be long dead if that were so. It seems then that you share some interests. But I shan't question you out of doors. Will you accept my invitation? Tell me what brings you here. Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maid servant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vagelbud. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you'd consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? Well, if Molly will be there... On our way, then. We've arrived. My father owned a similar estate in Bruges. As a young girl, I'd travel there often to ride. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses, Geralt? I guess so. Called every horse I've had Roach. The Grey Mare is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Grey's a nice color for horses, too. My coin's on the Black Stallion, Nemrod, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. Know anything about the Chestnut or the Bay? The Chestnut is Thunderbolt, a pure blood Retanian, gallant steed, but too headstrong for my taste, too difficult to control. And the Bay hails from Zericania. Lord de Volta acquired him recently. I know little about him, though Zericanians are reputed to have incredible stamina. Is Molly a horse? Pardon? I did come here to see Molly after all. Patience, Witcher. She ought to arrive soon. I asked Molly to join us as soon as she was done with her chores. She shouldn't be long now. All depends what you asked her to do, milady. But I don't really have a choice. I'll wait. Seem to know your horses. No is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. 
Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the Sattel Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle. Made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Why not? Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Well said. So, which steed do you choose, Witcher? Heard tales of Zeracanian horses. I'll ride the bay. I'll not ride with you, but I shall bet on a steed. Nemrod will win, no matter the rider. Cantarella for me, then. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. Riders, ready! I adore the speed! Let's go! <laughs> Faster. What a thrill! A beautiful victory! Thanks. For one for whom every horse is a roach, you carry yourself exquisitely in the saddle. My congratulations. That is yours. Now, could I talk to your chambermaid, lady? Ah, oh, yes, Molly. That is why you came here, after all. The portly young woman. That's her. Speak to her. And you must find us when you're ready to return to Novigrad. We'd be delighted to join you for the journey. my lord. Wish to see me? Call me Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelion's rescued time and time again? Mm-hmm. Wouldn't be here if not for Dandelion. Told me all about your adventures. How he'd ready you for battle with his songs. How he tamed the Cairn by playing his lute. I meant that literally. Dandelion's why I'm here. Came to ask you about him. Know where he might be? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. The Baroness don't approve of our acquaintance. Says Dandelion's a good-for-nothing layabout. Can you imagine? But... <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. He said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles. And he'd sing me arias. But I've not seen him since. You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they've different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? 
I know. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet and then change the subject. Thanks, Molly. Wait. Before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful. Thanks. And good luck to you on your search. Ah, Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. And here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. This morning, my brother came back from the market with news. Some mysterious murders happening in some house. Regret has got the imagination of another truth. She never lies about serious 